Hey guys, what's up? This is Trunks bringing you guys week four of the mid-season CWL. We had full men morte. We went up against the Val Valor Mongrels. We came out with the victory on this one, 83-79. to 79. Total destruction, 93.53 to 89.10. As you can see, they two-starred all the Town Hall 11s. Got a few Town Hall 10 triples. Did some pretty good work on the 9s, but left actually one up. On the full men morte side, we were able to two-star all the Town Hall 11s, pull out an additional uh, few more Town Hall 10 triples, and then we were able to take care of all the Town Hall 9s. This was the War of the Six Packs, so all of the replays are going to be by members who received Six Packs this war. And we're going to start off first with Chris. He's going to be coming in with the Town Hall 10 versus Town Hall 10 triples. The first one, he's going to come in with the Stone, Go Hobo. And he's going to have a few extra additional troops just for the cleanup on the backside. He's going to get two golems down, and then he's just going to get down a few funneling wizards. Gets down a few bowlers down at the top to go ahead and break that army camp. Gets down an additional wizard just to go ahead and get that barrack down up at the top. Once he has the additional troops down, he's then going to just go ahead and send in his wall breakers and get this bottom compartment open. Opens up that wall, allows the golems to redirect in, then comes in with some CC bowlers, gets his barb king down and his enemy queen, has a jump leading right to the core of the base, and then gets a poison down on the dragon and loon that come out of the clan castle. Gets a rage down so that way the bowlers are able to step up and start clearing out some of the additional point defense that's in there, and then has the queen step up in that rage and take out the enemy clan castle. Barb King gets up in the core of the base, pops the ability so that way he's able to tank longer in there, and then just basically starts trailing in some hogs on the back side. Gets a freeze down on that Inferno Tower, so that way the hogs are able to step through unhurt by that with a heal down, so that way they come out of that freeze spell with full health. Basically has the Queen still working in the core to go ahead and step up and work on that. King has his Barb King down at the bottom with a wizard working and then gets a heal spell down on the wizard tower up on the top side as the hogs are working their way through that. Pops the queen ability so that she gets the expo down as the hogs step up and they're going to take out this last tower and then step over and take out the skellies and the queen will help take out that barb king and at this point the base is done as he's basically working on cleanup. That is going to be the first three star coming from Chris today. Uh, but we'll go ahead and take a look at the next one. And he's going to come in with two golems, ten bowlers, and then a bunch of baby dragons to work around this base. Gets the golem down and a wizard with a baby dragon behind that so that way they can work to take out the high hit point buildings up on the top side. And then gets a second golem down over at two o'clock. And then gets a wizard and the baby dragon down behind that so that way they will step up, clear out those buildings, and work on that barb king at the same time. Sends down a test wall breaker and a tesla pops so he waits for his golems to redirect over. Then sends down his remaining wall breakers to open up that top portion of the base. And then has his bowlers with his royals come in behind that. Gets a jump down through the core of this base and then just puts down a rage and a poison to take care of that enemy clan castle. Gets a heal down as well to keep those bowlers up as they're working through that core. Freezes the bottom side inferno. The bowlers then begin to just work through the core of this base with the barb king. Get that top side inferno down and then get the remaining air fences down. At this point he just starts trailing in the baby dragons around the base to trim off all the excess buildings and then basically work their way into the final towers that are on the bottom side of the base. Queen is still working on the top side with her ability. He'll be able to save that until she gets down further in the base as the wizard tower and the bomber tower will not do much damage to her. Has baby dragons working down at six o'clock and then has one working up at the three o'clock area taking out the outside trash. Gets a few goblins down so that way they work through the remaining collectors a little bit but get taken out by that wizard tower and then sends in his last baby dragon to step up and take out that inferno tower 
and then she'll just step up and take out the remaining archer tower and wizard tower that are down at the bottom has his remaining baby dragon and queen walk around the queen steps up with barely life left and is able to finish off that last archer tower and then get the remaining two buildings there at the bottom that is going to be the first six pack coming from chris the next one we are going to take a look at is going to be from super saiyan this will be his first one he's going to come in with the grundinator attack gets a wizard down on that camp to go ahead and break the funnel and then sends in the barb king behind that so that way he will take out that trash on the top side he then gets the queen down on the bottom side gets five healers on her so that way she can go ahead and start working towards the nine o'clock area of this base as the bar king is taking out the trash on the outside he's going to have two gets a rage down as the barb king and the expo and the sweeper are working on that queen so that way she's able to stay up and take out the enemy bar king and then step up and take out that expo as the king comes around the top side he gets down a couple of valkyries a jump to the core of this base and then he has a healer to go down on the bowlers with the two pekkas queen steps up and comes through that wall he has a poison down on the clan castle so he's working on the baby dragons and that poison or that healer steps up to the pekkas in the core of this base to go ahead and keep them up as they're working through queen is now working on the bottom side taking out the trash and he has a baby dragon working from six o'clock up towards the four o'clock area taking out the outside towers he then trails in some hogs on the bottom side to go ahead and start taking out the bottom side towers as the pekka and the bowlers work through the top side of the base queen steps up and is picking up the trash on the route the base that the pekkas and bowlers had left and then he sends in his last few hogs that he is holding on to at the very end to go ahead and take out that last archer tower pops the queen ability early so that way he has the queen and the archers working on the cleanup gets a few wizards down at three o'clock to go ahead and start working and cleaning up that trash on the bottom side and then he has basically he's working up towards those troll teslas that are up in the top corner but with the queen and the healers on her that she will be able to work through that top side area i'd like to go ahead and thank sue though for the 99 percent scout on this base uh, Next one will be by Super Saiyan again. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to go ahead and watch his second one. He's going to start off with a baby dragon down on the bottom side at 6 to create, to break out some of that trash. He then gets down a golem and then puts the queen down behind that and then trails in a second golem down on the 6 o'clock area with a few wizards behind that. And then a few wizards up on the nine o'clock area with the baby dragon as well. Since that archer tower is locked onto the golem, it's able to just step up and take out all that trash. Then sends in a few wall breakers to open up that area. Has the golems redirect with the queen towards the core of the base. Baby dragon was stepping up and hitting that barb king a few hits. But then the enemy clan castle steps out. He gets a heal down to keep those bowlers up in the core of the base. And then has a poison down to take care of that enemy clan castle golems are still tanking in the core of the base and then has a second heal to make sure that the bowlers stay up through that bomber tower and the enemy archer queen on the back side gets down a few more baby dragons to clear some of the trash and then knowing that he's going to get all four of the air defenses here he's able to just target in some balloons on the outside of this base to the air targeting buildings Go ahead and speed this one up just a little bit though um, as you can see this base at this point is pretty much done um, super saiyan coming in with the six pack as well completely demolishes his base is still has both ears pops both of those abilities just to go ahead and get the cleanup done has the baby dragon working on the top side as the loons work from the bottom side back to meet the full group and the core of the base next up we are going to go take a look at but to six pack, he's going to come in on this base first with the stone go hobo. Starts off on the top side, taking out some of these little corner buildings uh, with a few funneling troops. Then gets a giant down at the bottom with a few wizards as well to take out some of the other top side buildings to funnel them. 
gets the enemy queen behind that golem and then drops a poison down on her to slow her down as she's working on that golem as he's tanking. His queen steps up then and then just takes out the enemy archer queen. The golem on the bottom is able to take out that mortar. Gets those troops to go through that wall and then basically is going to come in on the bottom side after he takes out the queen and then has his bowlers take out the enemy barb king and then he gets that clan castle out gets a poison down for them and then he just basically starts trailing and hogs since most of the point defense or splash damage is on the top side of the base he has a jump once the barb king and the bowlers get up to that top side and then the hogs just basically meet up with them Solid split up attack on this base, well, well scouted for him on this to notice that he could step up, easily take out that enemy archer, archer queen, and then use his barb king and a golem on the bottom side to get up and take out that splash damage, and then just pick up the remaining towers with hogs on that. But we'll go ahead and look at his second uh, three star on this one. He's going to come in with the three golem loon attack. Goes ahead and gets down a few loons on the outside to go ahead and take care of those mortars. Gets a few wizards down behind those and a minion or so to go ahead and start creating the funnel. And then brings in his first golem on the top side on that mortar that's on the outside of the base. Gets a few wizards down and then the enemy archer queen behind that to go ahead and work. Wizards step up and take out the storages and the archer tower. Queen steps up and is able to take out some of the outside buildings. He has a golem on the top side working to create that funnel on the top side and then trails in his third golem as his queen and golem start redirecting to meet up with the main group. At that point he has a massive funnel on this to create it. Drops his bowlers and barb king down and then gets a jump just basically to lead to the core of this base. All three golems are going to meet up. And then he has a few additional wizards that step up from the funneling process into the core of the group. As a jump leading right down to the core and then gets a second jump down to lead to the enemy archer queen. He's got three baby dragons that come out of the clan castle so he gets a poison down on those. And then drops a rage so that the queen can work through that enemy clan castle quicker. And then he just basically starts trailing in loons around the outside of this base, uh, only leaving up one air defense on the back side. He's able to start his loons on the same side as his main troops until they work over to the back side of that base. He's got the Barb King working on the bottom side for the cleanup. Queen in the core of the base with her ability still. Enemy Barb King steps up to her, and he's going to go ahead and pop that ability to get through that Barb King. And then he has a giant that he's going to drop on the bottom side as he trails in loons. So that way the wizard towers don't directly target his loons as they're coming in. That air defense is still standing on the back side and is able to take out a few of the loons that are on that side. But he saves the additional three. He's got the barb king working. He's got the queen working. Still to get through the core of the base and clean up the trash. He's got a wizard going down with the barb king. But we'll go ahead and speed this one up. As the barb king is going to tank for the rest of this attack until his queen can get over to the back side of that base. And take out the remaining defenses. We're going to go ahead and then take a look at the final six pack this war. It's going to come from Evil Playa. He's going to come in with the seven healer Valkyrie attack on this one. He gets Queen walk down basically and then gets a baby dragon to help push her along through this base. And we'll go ahead and speed it up a little bit to get through the walk. As his bowlers come down from the enemy clan castle and then gets a few healers on those bowlers so that way they are able to walk and take care of that trash on the bottom side. Um, at this point though he's got a pretty wide funnel. He's able to send in the Valkyries. Gets a rage down so they're able to get through that first wall uh, quicker. And then he gets the Barb King down with the Valkyries as well. Has rages for them so they're able to rip through those walls in the core. Hound comes out of the clan castle so it's not going to do much damage to the Valkyries. He's got the bowlers still working on the bottom side. And those healers switch over to keep up that queen as she's working on that lava hound in the core. And then gets his barb king working up towards the top side. He gets through that wall and is able to take out the enemy queen. 
And then he has a few hound hogs that he brings in on the backside to take out the final portion of this base. As the Valkyries and the Bar King are still working to get through those walls to try to help out that queen. But the queen has the healers on her so she's not going down for the last cannon that's up. Go ahead and take a look at the final replay though uh, for Evil Playa on his six pack. He's going to come in with the two pack of Valkyries and Queen Walk on this one as well, I believe. Starts off with the Queen Walk on the top side to go ahead and take out some of the heavy uh, storages that are up there and then stub up and take out that enemy Archer Queen eventually. Has a baby dragon working down on the bottom side to go ahead and clear out some of that trash so that when he brings in his remainder troops, they will not walk from that bottom side. Queen's going to step up and take out the Wizard Tower, and then the enemy Archer Queen will step up on her. Has a rage down for her so that way she is able to get through those point defenses and the enemy Archer Queen. Gets a P.E.K.K.A. down with a Valkyrie to start creating that funnel on the bottom side. And then drops his remaining Valkyries so that way they are going to enter the core of this base. Has a Baby Dragon and a couple Valkyries come out with the Barb King. And then he gets some poisons down on them to go ahead and take them out. Queen meets up with the group in the core for the P.E.K.K.A.s as the Bowlers all meet up together. And then he just starts trailing in some Hogs on the backside to take out some of these additional buildings. But he's got the Queen still on the top side working with the Bowler with healers on him. He's got a P.E.K.K.A. in the core of the base, just basically walking through, taking out everything. And then he's going to send in Hogs on the bottom side to take out the point defenses as they are being targeted. He's got a few loons in hand for the back side of this base once it comes down to it, but it has a wizard on the bottom side take out some of the trash. The healers get taken out by that inside air defense, but at this point there's only one more tower left that can affect the queen, and she's got enough health to be able to make it through. Uh, the Solid War for week four of the midseason, showing all of the six packs that we had in that war. Uh, but until next time, guys, this is Trunk signing out.